Welcome back to Spitfire. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Lord. The title of the today's prophetic message is Beckon Me in the Days of Head. Um, and that word beckon, that word beckon, wow. I mean, I looked it up because you know we we can think we know what words mean, but they actually mean something different or deeper than what we originally assumed. Maybe you're better than me and you really know those words better but the word beckon means to make a gesture with your hand arm or head to encourage someone to come near or follow oh my goodness what is the lord saying beckon me in the days ahead what do we do we put our hands up right and worship oh my goodness we're waving our hands and worship hallelujah jesus and he says beckon me in the days ahead worship me in the days ahead call upon me in the days ahead um, hallelujah. So let me, before we get started, um, I just want to make known that if you have a need and you would like someone to pray over you, we believe in a full gospel here at the bell tower. Healing is for today and healing is now. Hallelujah. Healing is now. Do you understand? Healing is now. It is now. I curse hope deferred off of your heart right now where you're saying, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just waiting for all this to just blow over and then I'll just be healed. No, healing is now because healing is the children's bread. Hallelujah. We believe the full gospel here. We would love to pray over you. Find us on social media. You can find us on Facebook at the Bell Tower um, or leave a comment here down below. You can comment on anything. You can join us through Facebook or one of our Facebook groups, the Fire Talk group. You can always um, join us there. And But if you prefer to do email, then you can drop us an email at the Bell Tower Ministries at gmail.com. And all links are below in the description box. Hallelujah, Jesus. Um, but you all know me by now. <laughs> you know that I'm going to invite the Lord to speak and move and to have his way in the midst of us that we just surrender our hearts. Hallelujah. Papa, we just thank you. Papa God, we love you so much. We, this is about the Father. Hallelujah. Yes, it's about Jesus, but Jesus did only everything that his Father told him to do. Hallelujah. He, Jesus came because of the Father. Hallelujah. It's the love of the Father. Papa loves you. He is Papa God to me. I couldn't call him Daddy God because I, I had a daddy. And I felt like that name was attached to my daddy at the time. So I was like, what could I call him? And I said, well, father just seems too distant to me. And that is how I came upon Papa God. I don't have a Papa. I don't have a Papa. You are now my Papa. Like that, that name now holds meaning to me. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if you call him father. It doesn't matter if you call him daddy. It doesn't matter if you call him Papa. But that's who he is. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if you just call him Yahweh, even though he wants to be called father, because that is who he is. He, he is the father. He's the daddy. He's the papa. He's the one who's coming to hug you and love you and squeeze you up. He loves you so much. And he sent his son, Jesus, to die for you for our sins, hallelujah, so that we may come back to him, hallelujah, that was the point, so that we can come back to Papa, so Papa, we just invite you here in the midst of us, we love you, Papa, so much, your goodness, your goodness, your goodness, your love is beyond measure, and we thank you for your faithfulness, and we just say, have your way, have your way, have your way in the midst of us, Papa, you have given me so much joy, and I love you so much, hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, move any way that you want to. Say whatever you want to do. Jesus, Holy Spirit, Papa, I just give you the floor. You have permission. Hallelujah. We just love you. Interrupt. Do anything you want. Heal. Move. Oh, my goodness. We live. We breathe. We move. We have our being in him. In Papa. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We surrender our hearts before you. Now, let's invite his glory over you. Would you like to have his glory operating in your life? Well, let me lead you in a prayer of repentance first. Repentance is the gift from God. We get to repent, not, oh, we have to repent. No, <laughs> oh, goodness, we have to repent. No, praise God, we get to repent. We're repenting, hallelujah. Praise God that we can repent. Oh, my goodness, we can empty ourselves of all the things that separates us or keeps us from him, that keeps us from his glory. We can 
drop all that off, let it go, loose it from us, hallelujah, and then the king of glory, because what is what does the Bible say? It says, who is the king of glory, right? The Lord strong and mighty, who is the king of glory? The Lord mighty in battle, come on, this is our God, you know, he's the Lord, who's the king of glory, the Lord of hosts, but it says, lift up your head, O ye gates, lift up your head, lift up your countenance, empty out what's in you, Okay, look at your face to him, and then the king of glory shall come in. And that's what we want. Hallelujah. We want, we believe in scripture here. Hallelujah. Um, <laughs> I usually just I I would try to keep things just to like the prophetic word, but you know what? I just flow with the Holy Spirit, and this is what he has me doing. Um, and I mean, this is the way, this is the shift. Hallelujah. He's shifting, he's shifting me, hallelujah. And he's been shifting us with repentance first through through our, our 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 church services and our and our fire meetings and gatherings where the repentance is coming first hallelujah and we're seeing the miraculous happen because he's moving in people's lives where maybe they were stagnant hallelujah bonds and and, and bars and, and and prisons that we've been trapped in for maybe decades and cycles are being broken and open and we're leaping like the stall fed calf hallelujah so papa right now Oh my goodness, we come under the blood of Jesus Christ and we repent for all selfishness, envy, jealousy, anger, lack of self-control, abuse of any kind either done to us all the way back, all the way back in our in our generational lines, all the way back. Maybe it was as a child, if it was mommy or daddy or aunt, uncle, brother, cousin, teacher, friend, stranger, it doesn't matter. All abuse that was done to us, or if it came from us, you know, if 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 you were the abuser, if you were verbally abusive or emotionally abusive, whatever, physically, Lord God, we repent right now, right? We repent. Oh my goodness, Lord, we for, we repent for being loveless and not caring for our our love uh, waxing cold. We repent for that, hallelujah. We repent for self-righteousness, greed, pride of any kind, and for all witchcraft operating against us or in our family or through us. Did you know that manipulation is likened unto witchcraft? When you're trying to get your way, that's the same. When you're trying to get people to just change your mind and just agree with me and do what I'm saying, that is witchcraft. People are allowed to have their own opinions, but when we, it's one thing to suggest something, it's another thing to try and push and push and push and then get upset when it's not your way. And, and then to where people are just walking on eggshells around you and just trying to do whatever you want to please you. That's witchcraft. So the blood of Jesus, we put on all those things, the blood of Jesus has made us whole, hallelujah. All guilt and shame is gone. I come against that orphan spirit attacking you, saying that you are forgotten, that you are abandoned, that you are just left on on hold to contend and fight. You know, you feel like you're calling Jesus, you're calling the Lord on the phone, but it's like, I mean, Lord, and he's like, oh, oh hold on really quick. And you're like, it was dire necessary that you answer me right now. I'm being attacked on all sides. And it's like, you've been put on hold by Jesus, you know, <laughs> and you feel like you're just contending while on hold. God, what are you doing? Are you, are you even looking at me? Are you listening to me? Are you caring? Are you caring? I'm praying. I'm doing this. I'm praying for other people. I'm doing all these things, but I feel like I'm the one forgotten. That's that orphan spirit that says he has abandoned you. He has orphaned you. You are no longer, you know, you're no longer one of his, like everybody else. That is a lie from the pit of hell. And I come against the orphan spirit right now that is attacking you in your mind, attacking you in your sleep. Every single lie of the enemy be tore down now in Jesus name, host of heaven, go forth and remove the orphan spirit from these people that they will begin to see and seek and feel the love of Papa. Holy spirit, we ask that you come now and release your glory presence over your people. Fill them to bursting in the areas that they repented for and make yourself known to them greater. In Jesus' name, I release the glory of God on you, the love of God to be upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Woo, I thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your fire, that fire, a feeling of fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Now on to the prophetic word. Again, it's entitled, Beck and Me in the Days of Head. 
Beckon me in the days ahead, says the Spirit of the Lord, and I will answer you and show you things you had not known or thought about, even in which you cannot fathom, says the Lord. Seek me first and you will find treasures divine that I will open up for you and watch as your face glistens with my hope. Hallelujah. In that moment when he was giving me that word, I instantly went into a vision and I saw the Lord opening up the Lord Jesus Christ, opening up a treasure chest that was hidden in a cave, deep treasures. And I could see that the light of his glory was sh just shining upon that person's face who he was, who he was showing um, the treasure to the light of his glory, just shining on their face and just, they just, their face just beginning to smile and just, oh, everything was dark around them, but their face was lit up with that, with those hidden treasures, with those, those hidden, the hidden mysteries that he revealed. And it was just, it gave them so much hope, but they were just in like, ah, oh, ooh, ah, oh, you know, type of moment. Um, but in, but in that, in that time, the Lord reminded me of the supernatural sips I did last year um, and about that very thing that Papa, Papa had said that he wanted me to do, um, well, he had segmented me through a vision and, and then immediately I went to go drawing it, but it was the treasures of the deep are bubbling up. They're bubbling up. Hallelujah. Those, those revelation treasures, things that he's showing us. Now let's go back into the word, this, uh, this word. And he says, and my revelation of a, of a time yet so close that will burst forth. So let me go back. He said, "Your their face will glisten with my hope and my revelations of a time yet so close that will burst forth like a pipe releasing pressure. Hallelujah. You know, when pipes release pressure, <laughs> like when there's a frozen pipe, I mean, it just bursts through and it can just explode, right? Or, you know, or a pipe that's filled with so much pressure. It makes me think about my kids love the Mario movie. It makes me think about the Mario movie when that pipe, they're trying to reach across, they're cr like crawling across this pipe, trying to get to the pressure line to put the pressure down. And, you know, and without any notice, it just bursts and they go falling. But in this case, God's like, the the times ahead that are coming are going to burst forth like a pipe releasing pressure just explode he said it'll happen when no one expects it just like in the movie no you know as an adult and obviously looking at storyline plot we're like it's gonna burst you know <laughs> we've seen it in many 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 times right <laughs> but but in the winter time we're not like hey the pipe's just gonna burst you cannot see and know come on hallelujah you cannot see and know and just like this, just like this, where he says, it will happen when no one expects it and it will be all my doing and to my glory. I shall conceal a matter, but my king searched them out by waiting on me and speaking to me instead of getting upset and running away. We are more than friends. Oh my goodness, I love that. We are more than friends. And I will show you my great faithfulness in these days ahead. And do not mourn, but only watch and see what the Lord, your God will do. I love that he said we're more than friends. He's yes. Hello. We, I, sometimes we just forget. <laughs> Hello. That we're more than friends. We're more than friends. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the scriptures he gave to me were Proverbs 25 verse two. Sorry. That's my, I have so many alarms on my phone. Um, there are alarms that like for me to continue praying. Lord God, we just thank you. I'm just going to pray it right now. Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Papa, for the protection on your move. It's funny that it, that's that's what it's, <laughs> that's the one that went off. Lord, we thank you for the protection of your move, Lord. Thank you for spreading your glory light over, over your people. Hallelujah, we receive it. That's hilarious because it's right on time. Amen, Jesus. Thank you. Nothing's by coincidence. So anyway, Proverbs 25, verse two, it says, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings to search out a matter. Hallelujah. He's, that's how, <laughs> I love it. He, he's speaking his own word. And Matthew chapter six, verse 33, he says, but first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his ways of doing and being right, the attitude and the character of God. Come on. He said, we're more than friends. He's saying right here, even in this word, seek out <laughs> my character. Hallelujah. Yes. My kingdom. Seek these things first. 
He says, and all these things will be given to you also. And we know it in the King James. I think everybody knows in the King James, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. We just love him so much. And then lastly, he had me pull up Psalms 33. And we're going to do Psalms 33, verse 8 through 12. And I'm out of the Amplified, of course. Um, and sometimes, I mean, if I go into anything else, you'll know. But I, I typically am out of the Amplified. So it says, let all the earth fear and worship the Lord. Let all its all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord nullifies the counsel, the counsel of the nations. Do you hear that? The Lord causes things to be not cancels out that's what nullify he nullifies the counsel of the nations he makes the thoughts and plans of people ineffective the counsel of the lord stands forever the thoughts and plans of his heart through all generations blessed fortunate prosperous and favored by god is the nation whose whose god is the lord the people whom he has chosen as his own inheritance. Hallelujah. We are joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Do you see that? We've been standing on his word. Hallelujah. I love this scripture before we close. I love this scripture because it's telling you no matter what they planned, <laughs> he causes it to be ineffective. He makes it to be ineffective. No matter what they had planned, it's, it shall be ineffective. This is one of the reasons why he said, come to me. And I'm going to show you. 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 Let me show you. But don't get upset and run away. Let me show you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Papa, we just thank you. We love you with an everlasting love. Oh, my goodness. Because you first loved us. That love is everlasting. We're not perfect. No. But God, you give us love that we may love you perfectly. We love you. We love you. We honor you. We love you, Papa. You are so good to us. We love you, Jesus. You're so good. We love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. You're so good. Hallelujah. Don't count out Holy Spirit. Jesus said it's better that I leave so that Holy Spirit can come. Don't count him out. He is still all God. Hallelujah. We need him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember to be obedient to the Lord your God. Hallelujah and shalom.